Hello, my name is Austin Berenger and I'm applying to your PhD program in mathematics. And today I'd like to give a short presentation on Birkhoff's theorem and linear algebra. And so let's get started with some definitions. Our first definition is for a doubly stochastic matrix. And so we say that a square matrix, which is n by n, is going to be doubly stochastic if the sum of entries in any row or column is equal to one and the entries are non-negative. So in other words, if the matrix X is equal to X sub IJ for X and R positive, then the sum of X sub IJ over I is equal to the sum of X sub IJ over J, which is equal to one. And so let's look at an example here. Looking at that first row, we see 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 1 fourth is equal to 1. And that first column, 1 fourth plus 1 sixth plus 7 twelfths is equal to 1. And across that second row, 7 twelfths plus 5 twelfths is equal to 1. And that second column, 1 half plus 1 half is equal to, you guessed it, 1. And so we say this matrix right here is doubly stochastic. Next, a permutation matrix is, again, a square matrix whose values are all either 0 or 1 and contain exactly one entry with the value 1 in each of its rows or columns. And so as an example, we see the basic permutation matrix here, which as you can see in each row or column, it has exactly one value in that non-zero value and that value is 1. Uh, we say this is a permutation matrix because in a sense it's permuting items. Uh, so if you think about R3, that first column right there, if it's, a, if it's a vector, then X1 is being sent to X2, if we want to label it that way. So now we've arrived at our theorem, which is Birkhoff's theorem, which states every doubly stochastic matrix is a convex combination of permutation matrices. And so now let's give a little bit of an outline of proof. This is by far not rigorous. But since we're short on time, we will give an outline. And so let X be doubly stochastic, then show there exists a permutation matrix P such that X sub IJ is different from zero when P sub IJ is different from zero. Now we let lambda be the smallest X sub IJ corresponding to a non-zero P sub IJ. The difference X minus lambda P will be a scalar multiple of the doubly stochastic matrix. And so then we reduce the number of non-zero cells in X by removing scalar multiples of permutation matrices until we arrive at the zero matrix. And so let's think back to our examples from before. First, let X be our first example we saw and let P be the second example we saw. And now lambda is equal to 1 sixth, or if it's a little bit easier to see, 2 twelfths. Um, then x minus lambda p will be equal to 1 12th times this matrix. And this matrix is going to be a combination of permutation matrices. Here are my sources, and thank you all for listening.